So keyword data essentially are the list of keyword um, which we pull directly from two places. The first place is Google Keyword uh, Planner API. So we pull directly from the Google Keyword Planner um, database um, from Google. Uh, secondly is Google Keyword Suggest. So all of our keywords are actually directly from the source um, to ensure its integrity and accuracy for our users. As you can see, the keyword that, let's say for the keyword nutrition plan, we find 3,261 keywords that relating. It breaks down into three different sections. So while well, over here it's break down three section one, two, three. Um, so the highest section here are also break down to three different category. First is phrase match. Um, and as you hover, you'll be able to see the definition. The phrase match report list keyword with the exact match mentioned of your seed keywords in the order they are written. Meaning that all of the keyword the phrase match will include the, the keyword that you search in sort of the beginning of, of, of the, the word itself. Nutrition plan will always remain as the first keyword. Um, and then you have having same term. So having same term report show you all keyword phrase that have your seed keyword in any order. So if you click on this, you see that nutrition plan could appear somewhere in the middle of the keyword or somewhere in the, the end of the keyword. So at any order, your main keyword should appear and that's having same term. Lastly, also search for um, report include keyword that are being searched for by users who have also searched for the main query. And it can be used with Google to suggest related search that the user may not be aware of. These statistics come directly from Google. So as you can see, if people search for nutrition plan, very likely they will also search for keto diet plan. So even though it doesn't have the keyword, directly the keyword nutrition plan in there, but these are the keywords that you also need to co-invest in order to make sure your plan go well. Um, you could cover more and vastly the, the topic in which, um, in which Google would, would count you as expert. So the second section, this is the filtering section. Again, over on H, you will be able to see um, the, the definition of each. Um, include mean that you will search for your seed. So search for whatever keyword that combined with another keyword. So um, exclude is the same. Remove unwanted words as part of your seed. A volume search, this is where you filter the volume search of the keyword. Um, you click on here and you can set the range mean to max. So let's say here you can set a, a minimum of 100 to a maximum of 500. So we will filter out for you all the keywords that actually have this um, have this indicator. So all these keywords are within the range of 100 and 500. CPC, same thing. It will appear as a range so you can set as mean to max. Word count, um, this is where you could probably utilize to search for a longer tail keyword. Let's say you say mean is 4 and then max is 7. Um, or you can don't even have to do that. You just do mean is 5 and click apply. Right away, you'll be able to see all the keywords that actually have a longer tails, um, of like a longer keyword. You click on more, there's another one which is keyword trending. So essentially, keyword trending will be marked as a star icon. So here, if I click on this, then you will see a trending mark here. Trending means that we will observe, while well, we will filter out for you keyword that actually have a trending upward in terms of search volume lately. For example, clean bug meal plan. As you can see, it grow from the you know uh, November 2020 all the way to the, um, October 2021, and it's grow from 880 all the way to 1,900. So this type of trending upward is where we want to kind of show you that hey, there's a keyword that going upward like that. You may want to pay attention. Uh, over here, you will see the, the button called pin up. So pin up essentially is where you scroll down. You'll be able to, if you turn it off, nothing will grow with you. But if you turn it on, this whole area will actually scroll down with your scrolling. So at any any space that you scroll, for example, over here, if you want to show, show 200. So as you scroll down, you'll still be able to see this part so you can work on the keyword that you like. Um, so that's pin up. Here is columns. This is where you put on the setting of the columns. You can actually take out or put in if you would like uh, on the amount of columns to appear on your table. Finally, we have something quite special. We call it filter config. So filter config is a tool that lets you 
save your keyword filter setting once you receive keyword data result in either keyword explorer or keyword importer so essentially this will actually is a kind of uh, safe function so let's say you have um, let's say you have a website and um, you have your own way of filtering uh, different keywords uh, maybe it includes certain keyword excludes certain brand keyword uh, you always want to set the minimum volume of let's say mean volume of always 100 you don't want any keyword that below 100 for example um, you want all the keyword that always have minimum word count at three you click apply and when you have this setting and when you do a, a new research for a new keyword and you would usually would like to apply the same setting what you can do is just click on filter config and then save current filter uh, create new filter sorry and then um, let's say this is nutrition filter um, you click confirm and right away it'll appear here as another filter for you to use you can delete them anytime you can turn back to default anytime but the next time you search just simply click on this filter and it will appear right away for you um, this will become really handy when you actually utilize our golden filter or forecast or other function um, so yeah so that's the second section as you can see over here the third section is where um, all the function of the tool itself really um, show you know showcase so first of all is up here here the first box is the keyword that select meaning that when you select keyword over here will show you the amount of keyword that you have selected and if you turn it off here this keyword will disappear so it will go as you cover that so a lot of time when you do you when you're done with filtering here you can just simply click on select all and so as you can see it or right away kind of um, from 3261 it's go down to 1120 uh, or uh, 12 keywords selected so as you can see all the selected keyword here you can then utilize add to add to meaning that you can actually add that into your personalized keyword database and that is a keyword list so let's say you really like this keyword list and but you're not sure what to do with them yet or you are or you will want to utilize them later in your SEO campaign or your search strategy build up you simply click on add to let's say add to list and create a new list or add to an existing list so let's say create a new list click add and right away we will show you congratulations your first keyword list if you now can access them on top right screen next to the remaining limit button so and so see right here that is your keyword list so you can access them right from here so if i click on it it will look something like this so you will see your keyword list so from here you will be able to kind of utilize this anywhere else from the tool okay so that's add to um add to group um is uh, a function where you could add a temporary keyword list and it will appear here but then it will disappear later so this will be like keyword in which you are not sure of yet so let's say you you nutrition click confirm right away up here a tab here and it's called group so we show you the list of the keyword a thousand here so when you click on this it will show you all of the thousand one hundred and twelve keywords um, this is where you will actually go in and then do another filtering if you would like or if not um, you just you just forget about it and the next time it will disappear by itself so this is the group appear as if where you in the process of research and you want to save some keyword yet you are not certain about yet you want to put them in there export is well uh, self-explanatory you can export the, them you, you can you can either export the selected so all the selected keyword after you've done filtering or you can exp export all so let's say you export the selected it will actually showcase here and you save up the name and then you can either save them as uh, Excel or a CSV file okay um, now getting to the the more exciting part this is one of our key features and that's cluster and what cluster does is that we will actually find all the keyword with similar ranking probability and group them together so this process typically um, are very manual and tedious and cost you a lot of time and effort and manpower um, yet with this function you will be able to kind of just 
do it super quickly in like a 30 minutes uh, session and you'll be able to kind of group them into the group. So the, the, the purpose of this is that it will help you to, uh, when you write content, you can just include all the keywords that similar ranking probability together. And uh, when one keyword get on top, there's a very high chance that other keyword in that same group that you include in that same content, you'll be able to have them rank too using only one content piece. So that's cluster. So by, when you click on cluster, the same thing happened with export. It will show you either you can cluster the selected or you can cluster all. So when you cluster the selected, um, it will show you an, a cluster setting. And from cluster setting, you can set the cluster level here. Um, I will explain in a more details on, on the clustering features uh, in, a, in a more detailed videos later on when you click on the key key features um, part. But essentially you will do setting here, you can create a cluster project here and after that we'll, we'll highlight for you how many keyword credits you will lose and how much available credit you have. So once you're done, you click activate and it will appear another report in keyword import for you to see. More um, uh, more in depth uh, how it is, just click simply click on tutorial library and then click on key features. Um, we'll show you the cluster features here. And um, that's where um, I'll show you uh, a bit more details. Then we have forecast. What well, forecast essentially is to help you forecast how much revenue you can earn on the list of keyword that you are targeting, right? A lot of time when we do SEO, we have very low, uh, like ex we, we don't have really a clear expectation of what, uh, how much the return would be if you try to target a specific keyword. Click on this and will appear like a board on the side and you click, you know, using put input your data here and then then you can just um, will show you the, the amount of, of money you may be able to. Again, same thing with cluster. We also have uh, features here that you can see. Um, golden filter. This is another really key highlight function that we used is where we utilize the whole entitled data uh, on each of every keyword to help you quickly filter out long tail high performance keywords that will tremendously save up your time and helps you to boost your ranking probability in a very quick time. So by clicking on this, we'll actually scan through the entire list of your keyword and um, give you the all entitled data for all of them so that you could actually filter them out. Um, again, I will go in, I will show you in the more details in this. You click on key feature, golden filter, and you'll be able to see that. So um, moving downward, well, over here, there's total search volume and then over average CPC. So those are pretty self-explanatory. Uh, moving downward, as you can see in the table, just click on each of the keyword and you'll be able to see a board like this. First of all, you'll be able to see our keyword difficulty uh, measure. Um, we, 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 we try to take into account four different measurements to calculate the keyword difficulty. The first is, uh, Keyword difficulty by AdWords. So this one we take directly from AdWords. So you can see high here, PC, PPC. But that, but that AdWords alone doesn't really show you the difficulty when you go SEO. So we also combine that with content. How much, how many content uh, are being written using this keyword, uh, for this keyword? Um, signal, this is the social signal. So how many social media mention or highlights or whatever the, that actually mention this kind of keyword and by traffic at the end. So we combine all these four elements to, to show you a keyword difficulty um, scoring. Then we have a search volume graph um, and overall search position. As you can see the top 10 uh, UILs that ranking for this particular keyword. All right, and uh, scrolling down to the bottom, um, you'll see a filter here that's for how many results show and the pagination. You can, from this, from this um, you can right away kind of create another search by clicking on the, this button called search another. And you can quickly access your past history as well as all the new keyword in here. Um, so that's that uh, for the tutorial today. Thank you very much for listening in and I hope that you found this useful for your, uh, your uh, work, workflow. Thank you and I'll see you in uh, our next tutorial videos. Thank you.